a successful one needs availability of the product. The Grain Council, we have built all these warehouses. We need the product. Some of us have gone into production, most of us not. Where is the product to be traded? So we need organized production. We need the cooperative movement to be strong. We need some, we are ready to buy, but we cannot buy five bags in people's houses. Our trucks can buy from cooperatives and some community collection centers. Informality of trade. This is from the Grain Council perspective. We cannot, we cannot have a successful warehouse receipt system in a country where informality of trade is the business of the day. There are various conflicting interests in trade, whatever the commodity is. There is the interests of the people selling, the depositors. Are they going to be paid? Two, the people who are buying, are they going to get the qualities that they are buying, that they have paid for? The third probably is the interests of the people who are depositing and the financiers. Is the price right? The exchange provides a trading platform, virtual trading platform, that guarantees three things. One, and I'll say that because I'm currently providing technical support to the Uganda Commodity Exchange to set up a commodity segment. Um, the price discovery that the exchange provides all the stakeholders is a key ingredient around the thinking that most of that these people must have put into this process. The second is the delivery. The exchange guarantees delivery of quality. Now there are various aspects with quality. There's the warehouse quality. There's the quality of the people who are sampling, weighing and all of that. There's the quality of the equipment. The, the weighing scales weights and measures that they calibrated, the firefighting equipment and all of that. There is the quality of the warehouse management systems, the processes and all of that. Now the exchange guarantees to the person who is buying that the quality will be delivered on a trade. Now, the exchange has designed the module where the collateral management process, the collateral management function, the cost is taken by the exchange. So the people who are depositing do not have to meet this cost because it is a function of the exchange in so far as it is going to deliver on that guarantee of quality. Definitely there's need to have policies in place that yes, we are a food basket, but three quarters of literally what goes out of here is not um, under specific regulation in terms of quality um, uh, and standards. And, and if we look at, just look at what has happened with our coffee, is a very good example. Our coffee prices and the farmers are thriving because you cannot export a bag of coffee out of this country without it going through some form of processing, without it being standardized. Why aren't we doing that for grain?